Welcome to the Zesty Ginger Podcast. We are Megan and Dr. Alex. We are here for transformation, yours, ours, and the collective, personal and professional for practitioners, but not just any transformation, compassionate transformation. Because between the two of us, we have seemed to have done things the painful way. Let our pitfalls become your stepping stones. We aren't afraid to share our raw and vulnerable truths in order to help you transform your thinking, your body, your heart, and your soul. Combining 15 years of functional medicine with brain-based habit change to lead you to the best life possible in a compassionate way. Compassion, yes, yet plan to roll up your sleeves. Transformation requires your participation. And a quick reminder, this information is not meant to diagnose, manage, or treat disease. Always consult with your doctor, not this doctor, before making changes. Now let's get into the episode. We are almost through the end of the third week of the Possibility series. Hasn't this been fun? Does this feel like it's sinking in? Because I know that when I listen to things on repeat, and this is the kind of series that if I were you, because I'm going to listen to it over and over, it's to keep getting these concepts from our conscious mind into our unconscious mind over and over and over. We have people ask us all the time if they think that it's really important, right, that their kids are getting enough omegas and that they're getting fish, for example. And so... I just wanted to tell you about a really good source, a really good idea. So um, uh, when the people will ask us to say, you know, my kid just really doesn't want to eat fish. So what's a good replacement? Tell them that cats. Cats are a really good replacement because they love to eat fish. (laughs) Sorry. So hard to deliver that with a straight face. (laughs) But um, ching. (laughs) really hope you all like these as much as I do. So let's talk about today. (laughs) I want to talk about how everything is about your perception. You know, there's been different times in life where there's been things going on with my body. Like, for example, um, headaches that I'm getting with every cycle. And there's the amount of pain, right? So we believe that pain is one of the biggest blockers of contribution and connection because it just totally, it's a distractor of purpose. Then that is all you can focus on on your body. And Dr. Alex with chronic pain and 10 years of undiagnosed endometriosis has lived this and knows this. And the thing is, is sometimes there's pain that's extremely painful, right? There's the actual thing in the body. And sometimes there's a thing that's happening with your health that the thing itself really isn't that tricky, isn't really that much even of a disruptor. It's our perception of that thing. Now, when you, if you're in a place right now where you're like, Megan, this is not my perception. This is greatly impacting my life every day. Um, we understand that. We hear you. We feel you. Come get help. Come get support. Um, we get that. And sometimes there's things, though, like my headaches, where I thought the headache itself was a really big problem. When I started to check in, though, it was just really an annoyance. Not, it's definitely not something I wanted to have, and it's definitely something I still took action towards, right, shifting the imbalances. And at the same time, I realized that the actual pain was really only about 10% of the discomfort and annoyance. What was really happening was what I had made that mean about my health and therefore the future. What this means about my body, that I have a messed up cycle, right? That I have a headache. What that means about how I am, in my case, right? I could go down the road of I'm failing as a practitioner. I teach people to have healthy hormones. Or I could go down the, the rabbit hole of, I know that a healthy cycle is important for a healthy body, so therefore I'm not healthy, and therefore, and therefore, and therefore. 
And even Dr. Alex has said with her chronic pain, the actual pain, once she had done the basic fundamentals of functional medicine and really done the things to improve her health, it was now at like a 10% discomfort. But the annoyance, the perception of what that meant, that she wasn't fully healed, that her body, you know, that there was still this signal, this warning sign, that was the part that could take you down. And this is where you might start to be getting people telling you like, oh, it's all in your heads. And we say when people say it's all in your heads, we're like, yes, it is. It is all coming from our brain. And that doesn't mean that we caused it, right? It doesn't mean that there aren't things physically going on in the body, which is why we love functional lab work, is to actually see often people will get the lab work and it doesn't even necessarily change all that much of what they're going to do, but they can finally see on paper, they're like, yes, this relates to how I feel. Yes, now I can have other people know that it's not in my head, right? And there's something to do about it. We can take full responsibility to actually shift the outcome and then the future. So I want you to just look at, look at the things going on and look at really what are the stories we have around those things versus um, what is actually happening. I want you to check in the next time something's going on in your body and check in if, if it's your elbow, if it's your shoulder, if it's your head, if it's your uterus, right? Check in and say, what is the actual feeling or sensation in that area? And if I weren't attracting and attaching multiple levels of stories to this, how disruptive, how disruptive is it this in my life? Another game I like to play would be like, what if this was just how my shoulder was for the rest of my life? And the timer agrees. My timer is going off because it's time to walk. I am getting in steps because that is part of my possibility. Part of my possibility personal series is that I am moving more. And one of the things I've found is to get up and walk every two hours, go outside, just do a block versus my really long walks in the morning has made all the difference, all the difference. So that lovely interruption will allow you to think about you and your perception. And we'd love to hear about it. So please always send us emails with your updates, support at zestyginger.com. Uh, come on over to Instagram. Please share this series if you haven't already with all your friends. Tag us, comment. We would love to interact. Um, we have a text list that you can always find the link to in Instagram where we can put that in the show notes if you want to get text updates from us. And we will end this lovely episode today with some possibility. Neurolinguistic programming, hypnosis, and quantum time technique, and all the tools Zesty Ginger teaches in their trainings have completely changed my life. I had struggled with chronic illness for 12 plus years, and you're all free from this, one of them being mold. I had set out on a committed journey of detox, diligently dosing supplements, following a specific protocol for getting rid of bad bacteria and mold taking binders and attentively spacing my sauna sessions, dry brushing, rebounding, and cold hot showers. After about three years of this, I got most of my testing back that showed incredible improvement. However, I still did not feel good inside. Then I was introduced to NLP. This led to my next up level of truly taking control of my health and not just my health this time, now also my mind. My path then changed toward complete transformation. Once I dug deep into my emotions, my thoughts, and my beliefs, I started to notice much more rapid and positive changes in my health and all areas of my life. I once read a quote that says, in the darkest caves, you will find the greatest treasure. And that's what learning all of these tools have done for me. It was dark at times and really hard to face myself. Although once I did, I reached new levels that I didn't even know were possible for me, and I found the greatest treasures all within me. I encourage everyone to sign up for any of the Zesty Ginger courses and especially the trainings. I know you'll find the greatest treasures that will uplevel you to new amazing heights. Thanks for coming out to hang with us on the podcast. It is our goal to transform the way women are treated in healthcare. And we need your help. We need your help to get the word out. We have a lofty goal of 1 million downloads. 
And we know that as this podcast grows, we're going to be able to reach more women, get more amazing speakers for you, and bring the most cutting edge information. If you found these pod classes helpful, please take a moment to text five women you know the link to the series. We appreciate your help so much. Can't wait to see you next time.